So, welcome guys to the second city. Um, yeah, let's continue. Let's just begin the game. Um, the only thing you missed is just the beginning intro. He got out of the ship. He was delirious. He got his bag, and he uh, had a dream that he fell into the boat. Uh, I didn't record that because the software got glitched out. I don't know how. But yeah, welcome to the second city. Let's get the hell out of here. Now get out. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. What's the deal with the city, man? Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the Flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you may say, I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Hey, nice suit. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere Flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it. Cool, this became a Telltale game. That's nice. Well, choices. We got choices. Call it a personal quirk. Flood? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it. Despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere. You know? You How about my you problem? Someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here. In oh yeah, the, if you I seen the intro, he had like a lucid Robert's dream Robert's that he was like is already at the actually jumped off his ship and he just time fell time through and landed on his bed again. That's the only thing you missed. It wasn't that Alas, big of a deal. I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hand. Where's Robert? Through Morton? Where can I find Mr. Throckmorton? Throckmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss Okay. Throckmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Okay, uh... What's Throckmorton like? Can you tell me a I guess, about uh, Mr. Throckmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. Oh, great. We gotta download. Eh. I need somewhere to stay, though. I'm out of alarm here. I'm doing a job in the city. I need somewhere. Fear not. To be I've out. already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. <laughs> what do you do here, man? Days, Mr. Vandenberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market? Sorry about that, folks. I just need to put up the volume a little bit because I pain, Mr. Sorry. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. I don't get to Devil's What's Beach. the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. 
What else did you work on the map, man? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper, places your need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Goodbye. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Great. That's creepy enough. We're about to go now. Okay. City, dude. Oh, Jesus. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Goddamn, he looks like a monkey. Go Holy away. crap, Apex. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Uh, what do you know about the, uh, visions? I've a man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes... Let's talk about your dreams. Uh, your features are uh, unusual. Uh, should we say that, or what happens to your son? I, I, I don't want to go be. I don't want to be direct. I'm sorry. Guys. I just, uh, what happens to your son? What to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. God damn, I another update okay. Smart. That's strange. Great job. Smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Your features are unusual. Please forgive the question, but... I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. 